Yeehaw! Boom boom, shake the room. The final bout of the evening. It's a super welterweight competition between Mason Cartwright coming out the red corner, Serzan Bomo coming out the blue corner. Good start there by Cartwright. Yeah, looks like he's come out to stamp his authority early on. Double, double jab. Referee for this last one. Jamie Kirkpatrick. Himself will eat up the white the mic catching Gormley still commentating. It's VIP, lovely double jab there by Car Wright. His 25th defense out in tonight. Nutty, 31 years of age. And Bombo and 76th defensive out in. Former Cameroon, Cameroon Olympian, I'll find out Sheffield. Lovely job there by Mbomo. That's he won two out of his last five. He took two O's, took Ryan Dickens, Connor Gulbins. And beating records away at this same venue. Yeah, probably be looking to make it his third one tonight at this venue, but um, good start by Cartwright. As we know, we've seen him before. Great technical boxer, good stylist. At the moment, he's uh, started off well, picking his shots. With uh, great, great success. And Bobo not had quite... He, uh, he's not quite got into his stride. You can see that's all down to Cartwright. Kairos really sharp, it's going to get a double jab. The guy like this round so far. He's looking really sharp, Cartwright. Best to see him for a little while. Obviously, Hambomo not offering much back at the moment. Can't like pretty much having it on his own way. Nice back to body. Straight down the middle there, the big one too. And Bombo was a tough man. Jimmy stopped six times in his 50 90 feet. Great stiff double jab by Cartwright. Straight through the guard of on Bombo. Coming into round one. Definitely one in the bank there for Mason Cartwright. In his corner, Danny Little for No Limits Gym. Second in John Smith. Two, schedule six. Red corner, cart right, blue corner, and bombo. Fantastic jab once again by cart right, but a great left thumb. Bamo now 37 years of age, absolutely tough as teak, in fantastic shape, lovely to score the jab. Yeah, I think I'm almost just waiting for his opportunity. And this cart right just carries on the way he has been doing. Can't see him having too many problems with Ambomo. But it's early days, only round two. Doesn't want to get too close and just stick back to his boxing again, keep those shots long, keep on ball on the end of his left hand and the end of the jab. Mason obviously fighting on Bombo here. 
uh, after um, a British title challenge had two of them and also a uh, challenge for the WBC the Silver International welterweight way back in 2019 so he's mixed in high class no, I think I think can't write the the wrong fight here now first round everything was punch perfect now he's just getting a little bit too close to Ambomo he's having a little bit of success but I think this is going to favour Ambomo he's a smaller man and as we know Lee uh, Ambomo's got deceptively long arms can use his shot there by Cartwright lands right on the chin yeah that's all going to stop it here I think Ambomo needs to cover up a little bit get his head moving get off them ropes good double uppercut there by Cartwright Mace it yeah got the gum shield out mm. Or was this battle with the wrong angle to see? And the typical kind of tactics that by Ambo will just get a little breather. Not accusing him of doing so, but it would be a sensible thing to do at that moment in time. I think that's just where Cartwright needs to be. That's it, just on the end of that jab. Nice job. A little bit of cut on Ambomo's nose, I think. Could be wrong. That dude coming from somewhere. Big round there for Cartwright. Put the tempo. So I think we both agreed there, Mike. Two rounds up for Cartwright after two. Yeah, I think uh, Cartwright's box really well. I think he got a little bit clue too close at times. I don't think he needs to mix it up with Ambomo. Yeehaw! Boom, boom, shake the room. Round three. Says Ambomo Mbo took some heavy leather in that second round. Cartwright just using that left hand as a range finder, dropping the back hand to the body of a bowl. He's had eight stoppages in his 19 wins. Cartwright. He's been stopped three times in his four defeats. With one draw. Made his debut in 2014. Shot in there with the over on right. Just to let no cat right know he's still in there. Cat right just choosing to get inside again. Again for me, wrong tactics. A lot better on the outside. Doesn't need to be involved with Ambomo. Scored the big right up there. If the cut is perfect, playing the 6 to 12. Whips it up. Lovely. Nice shot by Ambomo. Counter. That's a that dangerous right hand by Ambomo. This is the warning about the heads. That's where Cartwright needs to be, just there with that jab, that left hand poking away. Setting the combination up.
Well, three rounds down, three to Cartwright. But you know what? You can't take anything away from Mbomo. He's giving it a good go. Yeah, I think, you know, we've seen it again, we've seen it before. Second half of the fight, he seems to come. Great yeah. technical ability, Cartwright. Boom, boom. Shady room. Round four. To make round of this. Halfway through. So myself and Mike. Got Mason Cartwright. Uh, three rounds in front. You guys watch it all look much. Cartwright's jab steps in with it, puts the floor, same time jab is the target area. Nice stuff got there, followed by the backhand. Nice jab by Romo. He's knocking Cartwright's head back on the same one again. You did say hello, he's got, got deceptively long arms on Bomo. A great reach. People watching us live here tonight, courtesy of VIP Promotions in association with Trinity Entertainment here at the New Centre Hall in Liverpool. We're also out next week live in Durham from Rayton, the Rayton Arena, May the 4th. Myself and Mike will be up there. Just a little bit off balance. I don't think he was caught with anything. Nice back onto the body there from Cartwright. And the left. Right again. I do what the ref said. They might want to think he's dead. I don't know if um, Ambomo was talking to him or something. No, we're halfway through now. Four rounds, four rounds down. It's four. Definitely in the bank for Cartwright. Yeah. Round five. So 31 year old Mason Cartwright starts off with a double jab. Three jabs. Yeah, it's like a bottom of the jabs at the moment. Run the backhand over the top there by Cartwright. It's really sharp tonight. Bomo just cover up well. Struggled a bit with that lead hand by Cartwright with the jab. But, you know, quite good defence when he's hooking. Just the good, good, good cover his, with his body as well, and Bomo. He's got, again, he's got long arms, long levers, so his elbows basically come down below his waist, which is a, it's a great thing for him. Great thing for him. 
Yeah. Longest forearms in the world. And look at his elbows are below his waistline. Could be maybe why uh, Pat Wright's not thrown so many body shots. So far, just going to take that little half a step away, set everything up that left hand. Okay, and one more catch of those wide shots on the arms. Nice little foot for that little foot there. As we're getting a little bit close as well inside. See if they look at foot, very hard to do. Nice and shot right up to the body, right up a cut. Mike Tyson shot that is. That was peak. Can't like just tap, tip tapping on the inside there with a the bomb against the rope, looking for that extra power shot. Final one, setting that big shot up. Just for the moment then I thought Serge and, and Bauer were wilting. Great movement from the waist on Bomo, slips well, rolls well. Caught the other foot there though from the start right on the inside. Tough man, tough fight. Another, another good round in the bank there. For Cartwright. Yeah, and Bomo was making it competitive. This is the fight that Carlight needs. Um, Schedule to it, be eight threes. The first gloves, the end of this, um, the start of this sixth and final round. He must be an absorbing contest. Mason Cartwright has, has shown his skills, shown a good a range of punches. Shows a lot of power as well, speed. And Bomo, tough guy. I think we'd agree, you folks out there, obviously, this goes to a points decision. Cartwright's uh, a bit of a walkover, really, so. Bomo's there, not much you can do at this moment, a stoppage would be great, but, you know, I don't want to put uh, the mockers on it, but I can't see it happening at this moment, can't write his box really well, everything technically very good, it's a great performance overall, I think he's needed this one. Well, he's not fought since September of last year. Nice to see him try and work that body a little bit more. Just be careful, Carl, right? If you want to take any unnecessary shots. Nice work in the inside of that there, boy. I got that right. Almost looking for that flailing left up to the head. And he throws the right as you say that. Again, good job by Bomo. Can't right, just needs to stay away. Doesn't, doesn't want to take any unnecessary shots. Nice work in the side. Nice to pop up. As you see, 
Yeah, we've seen this before. Yeah, we've seen this before. Yeah, we've seen this before from Mbomo. A bit of eyeball in there after that bell. Just to show you that he can do it if he wants to. Maybe he should have done it a little bit earlier though. Both boxes. Touch up. Yeah, I think it ended that both, both, both guys sticking the chest up, chest out for the testosterone flowing at the end of the fight. So just waiting for the uh, the MC and uh, Rosales to give the, the decision reached by A star referee Jamie Kirkpatrick. Myself and Mike have got it 60 to 54. Not to take away from Serge and Bommel's effort. Referee calls him in. Yeah, it was a dominant performance by Cartwright. Well deserved. Let's see how the referee scores this one. Well, that concludes tonight's action here for VIP Promotions in Liverpool. As I said earlier, if you were listening, we're going to go to them next week at the Rating Arena the live May the 4th. Saturday, May the 4th in Durham, the Rating Arena. Bet you can't wait to hear my lovely voice next week, myself and Mike's. Until then... For all boxing, info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across and off, click and subscribe. VIP Boxing Promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.